I mean like clever mom, but bit of a stretch. But this one actually everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my July TBR for 2022 if you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has a theme that goes along with why she chose the books that she did and this month's theme is things that can be broken so without further ado let us get started so my mom actually picked 10 books this month which is ridiculous because I'm working 40 hours a week so when she thinks I'm going to be able to read these books is beyond me but the first book that she chose is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and this is because dreams can be broken when you wake up get it this is like a booktube darling everybody and their mother has read this book except for me I've had it on my TBR since it came out I read her dreams and monsters trilogy a while ago loved it and then never picked up any of her other books so here is my opportunity to actually pick it up fun little fact I found it at my thrift store for two dollars like this hardcover for two dollars and it's in like pretty much perfect condition so that was like the score of the month for me next up I mean, is soulless by gail carriger and this is because souls can be broken don't know too much about this one either although i do believe that it's about like aristocrats who kill vampires like as their little side gig which uh hello sounds so good also i just really love this copy because it has like illustrations throughout and i am a sucker for any book with illustrations which i don't know if it's just like the child in me but I dig them so much. If a book has illustrations, I'm probably going to give it higher rating. Next, I have The Truth Project by Dante Madama. This is because the truth can be broken. This one is about a girl who is a senior in high school. She has to do a project, what I'm assuming is like a family tree. So she decides that she's going to send her DNA into one of those like my DNA places and they tell you like all about your lineage. But she discovers that the father who she thought was her father is not actually her father and it's some other guy that lives thousands of miles away. So she has has to decide what she's gonna do about that. Is she gonna confront her mom and be like, yo, you lied to me about who my father is? Is she gonna confront the dad who says that she's his dad? Or is she gonna go meet the new dad that she didn't know was the actual dad? I don't even know what I would do in that situation. Like, if my father was not my father and I thought he was my father the entire time, I think that could fuck you up. So, I feel for this girl. Next up is Small Town Hearts by Lily Vale. This is because hearts can be broken. This follows a girl named Babe, which I would like to say is an interesting name. I'm hoping that is a nickname and that her parents did not call her Babe. But she just graduated from high school. She is going off to college very soon and she is worried about her three best friends leaving as well. Her ex-girlfriend's in town and there's also a cute boy who keeps coming into the cafe that she works at. So it's like story of all that drama. I also think that this is just going to be like a perfect summary read, so hopefully I can get to it this month, but like I said, I don't really have that much time to read, so we'll see. Next up is Confessions on the 745 by Lisa Unger. And this one is a bit of a stretch, I will say that, but it is basically because when people go into police interrogations and they have to like be there for a really long time, they eventually break and they'll start confessing the crime that they committed. I mean like clever mom, but bit of a stretch. But this one I actually think is probably one of the ones that I'm most excited to read. It follows a woman who's on a train, it gets delayed, and she's sitting beside a woman named Martha. They start talking to each other, and she confesses that she thinks that her husband is sleeping with the nanny. And then a couple days later, the nanny goes missing, and she's like, what the heck? And she gets pulled into this investigation about where the nanny is, and she starts wondering who Martha really is. I'm a big fan of thrillers, so you know I'm into this one. Next one is The Nanny by Gilly McMillan. This is because when there's a nanny and there's really, really bad children, they'll break and then they'll quit. Again, stretch, but I'll take it. This has been on my TBR for so long, like since it came out. When I used to do the videos about the monthly anticipated releases, this was one that was on it for the month it came out, and I still have not read it. So, again, perfect opportunity to actually pick it up. I have it on audiobook as well, so I should actually get to this one this month. Next up is The Secrets of Attraction by Robin Constantine, and this one is because secrets can be broken. It follows a girl named Madison and a boy named Jesse. They end up meeting because they have mutual friends, and they fall in love. You know, your typical YA summary read. So. Next up I have Love at First Like by Hannah Orstein. This is because love can be broken. This follows a girl who owns a jewelry business with her sister. Her ex 
ends up posting a picture and he's getting engaged. So she accidentally takes a picture of her ring finger with a big diamond ring on it and posts it to her social media, which has 100,000 followers. Booming business happens and, you know, the ex is like, what the heck is going on? And it's basically the story of don't lie on social media. I haven't heard very good things about this one, so this one I'm not, like, the most excited to pick up, but we're still gonna get to it. Hopefully we'll see if it actually happens, but this is on the TBR. Next up is The Girl in the Ice by Robert Brinstad. This is another one you have probably seen on my TBRs multiple times because I just never pick it up, but it sounds really good, so I don't know why I keep putting it up. But it's basically this detective named Erica. She finds a girl under the ice. It becomes linked to three other very similar deaths in other places, and she has to figure out who the killer is. But, you know, your typical crime novel. I just haven't picked it up yet and it will probably continue to be on my TBR because that's who I am as a person. And then the last book she chose is Winter Glass by Lexi Hillier. This is the second book in the Spindle Fire duology and this is another one has been on my TBR forever. I've put it on so many of these videos. I honestly don't even really remember what happened in Spindle Fire except it's the Sleeping Beauty retelling, I need to reread it. So maybe, maybe that'll have to happen before I pick this one up. Alright everybody, so that is my July TBR. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm working 40 hours a week now, cause joke's on me, and I said I was having summer off. No. No. My supervisor was like, here's some 40 hours for you, and I was like, cool. I have one week off this summer. It's July 25th, that week, I have off. So maybe reading will be done. 10 books worth? Probably not but maybe a good chunk of these. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!